And I say it, I feel wonderful tonight. I feel wonderful, cause I say it in love And I wonder, I'll be but you are just glory of how much I love you. It's time to go home now And I've got a decay So was it cracking She has me to be And then I tell her As I turn up I say, my darling, you are wonderful tonight. Oh, my darling, you are wonderful tonight. Oh, wonderful. Oh, 
Hey, everybody. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that right over in that table over there, there is a whole bunch of really beautiful stamps. Yes, yeah, see, people are waving. Um, we are making prayer flags that we are going to be stringing up around the um, the shop for when the gentlemen get back from Nepal. And so if you guys want to take a couple of minutes, there's some fabric paints, there's um, fabric markers, and a whole bunch of really beautiful um, fabric that Julie picked up. And so if you get a chance to, please feel free to um, go ahead and do a, uh, a prayer flag. And if you want to, you can even take it home. You don't have to leave it here. So, um, And then with that being said, I would love to bring back Mr. Kevin Oaks and Deborah Oaks to the stage, although they're looking very serious right now. But I'm gonna, is it okay? I'm sorry, Miss Deborah Oaks, who rocks the house, and I love and kind of have a freaking crush on. Is that better? Nope, I got it. I think I'll be all right. We're going to play, oh, hope, 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 hope. I have just a recommendation that if you're going to go over there and make a prayer flag, get some directions from somebody, because I didn't, and I made a mess of it. Just, thank you. That's, that's the story of my life. I'm a beautiful mess. Shall we sing about it? We shall sing about it. <laughs> Do we decide what we're going to do? Oh, and I really, I'm really excited about this one because it was like a year and a half ago that I wanted to learn it, and I couldn't get him interested in it. And I'm still trying to figure out how to play the guitar. But we're going to do it tonight, and if anybody knows any of it and you want to sing, I'm, I'm always, I'm always, in, I always encourage that. Sure, yeah. And I want to hear from May. So don't you go nowhere. We figured since Clint isn't here tonight that hope needed to be played. So yeah, for sure. So here for you go. sure. It's nice to hear hope. It's a sweet sound of hope. There is freedom within. There is freedom without. Try to catch the delusion.
Stuff. That's my sister. Doesn't she sing purdy? <laughs> <laughs> my brother sings real purdy, too. We should hear him sing. That really felt good. That went with what they were talking about, what's going on in Nepal. In Nepal. People are sticking together. You know? <laughs> Let's write the version we want to have happen. Right? We want a wall, or we want to knock it down and all live happily ever after together. I like that. I love Doug. I'm with Doug. <laughs> are we gonna play the are we gonna play the soul food theme theme song? I think so. Yes. It's another sing along. <laughs> you guys ready? I'm excited. Another sing along. And now we get to hear Kevin sing. He's a superb singer. Apparently I get to sing too. Yeah. Why don't you get in the line a little bit? Cause he's real handsome too. That's what his name means. <laughs> I'm what you call a keeper. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> We're going to auction him off at the end of the show. Of course, I'm having microphone troubles. Of course. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? You want me to just do this? How about if I do this? Does that help? There we go. See? I, I think help. that'll work. <laughs> You know, we all look for meaning everywhere, and we look for it in different places, and we look to God. We look, we look to God in many different ways, which is all fine and dandy. I'm, a, you know, I'm all for that, but um, sometimes you just got to look around you. I got so lost that I went to church. Sorry, God, but you made it worse. Made me sit behind the fence, haunted by the evidence. Guess you don't want me to think, and so instead I'll dream and dream. I got too drunk to drive home. In the cab, I grabbed my phone, made a call that I might regret to a girl that I just met. Well, lately things are not okay. I guess I just wanted to hear somebody say.
What kind of rock star drops his pick and doesn't have another one handy? What <laughs> A real Thank one. Thank y'all. Where were you in the middle of the show? We're gonna do the. We want to do the second half. Yeah. Yeah. You get your second. Okay. I don't want to put this guy in front of this guy. Watch your argument. <laughs> yeah, but then I gotta. <laughs> ก็เป็นประมาณก็จะนําไปที่สวัสดีสวัสดีกรมวงการแคมเปญซะจอห์นมาออร์เลจิสที่สวัสดีไลฟ์ก็เลยนะซะเยซานุการกรรมเซนต
here. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. This is a song that I wrote in my little neighborhood in Redmond, Washington, way far across the other side of the world. But the people there are just like you. They're proud and they're strong and they want peace.
Yes, Mr. Clean. Ah, people are asking you sing one more time. Yes! Can you? Oh, I just sing one more song. Please, please. We don't know after Rukla what we will be. It's a rules of regulation, rules regulation of the world. Ah, uh, okay. He's making a tune, he's tuning. Yes, I mean, Nepal is a good thing. I'm going to sing about only Nepal. We're going to sing about only India, not only China. We're singing about the world. Yes, I mean, Nepal is a good thing. We're singing about the world. Can we clap one? No, I'm not happy. Sunny, let's have a money. Yes. Yes, it could be easy for Mr. Clean. Yes. My name is Clint McCune, and I'm here to represent not only my family, but my home and America. I am of no political party. I'm of no religion. I'm a musician. I'm of no caste. I'm above no one, and I'm below no one, but I'm for the people. Here's a song for prayer for all of us. Machine. 
the stars, the moon and the sun. By heaven, the stars, the moon and the sun. By heaven, the stars, the moon and Thank you very much, Nicholas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
questions or comments? Um, at this time, uh, that was a preview of this show. There's about another good five and a half hours if you want to get down with your bad Nepali self to uh, <laughs> dance to. Um, and uh, that's off of the Soul Tribe uh, TV if you go to the Ustream and um, just type in the date. It's, it's all there in its glory and goodness. And so, um, but to close the night, I would like to um, kind of end it in a really good space that's pretty traditional for the end of a Friday uh, night show. And so I'd like to invite Mikhail up here. And I'd also like to invite Bill and Kevin. took the title tonight from a book that I finished this week by Terry Tempest Williams and that book title is Finding Beauty in a Broken World According to the curator of the American Museum of Natural History, we're in the middle of the sixth extinction. We're losing, the, the planet Earth is losing 30,000. As of a couple of years ago, 30,000 species a year. It's not like we don't have 10 million. But that's all we got. It's a finite number. That's one every 15 seconds. We're losing. No, my math's off. It's one every 15 minutes. We may, we may escalate. So who cares? They'll all be gone by the next millennium at this rate. I believe with Jane Goodall that only if we understand can we care. Only if we care will we help. Only if we help shall they be saved. I'm convinced with Homero Ardregis that the 21st century
will be the century of Noah's when human beings will feel compelled to save the ecosystems and species dying around us in biological arcs since it will no longer be possible to save everything on March 9th March 8th 1999 right after Katie was born there was a salmon vigil held at St. Mark's Episcopal Cathedral in Seattle, Washington, an interfaith service of prayer and reflection for the preservation and well-being of the salmon. And this prayer was recited. We have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten who we are. We've alienated ourselves from the unfolding of the cosmos. We've become estranged from the movements of the earth. We've turned our backs on the cycles of life. We have forgotten who we are. We've sought only our own security. We've exploited simply for our own end. We've distorted our knowledge. We've abused our power. We have forgotten who we are. Now the forests are dying, and the creatures are disappearing, and the humans are despairing. We have forgotten who we are. We ask forgiveness. We ask for the gift of remembering. We ask for the strength to change. We have forgotten who we are. I hear W.S. Merwin's voice. But what came out of the forest was all part of the story. Whatever died on the way or was named, but no longer recognizable even. What vanished out of the story, finally, day after day, was becoming the story so that when there is no more story, that will be our story. When there is no more forest, that will be our forest. What do I do now with the open space in front of my heart? I believe with Gaston Blanche that imagination works at the summit of the mind like a flame. I believe with El Bosco in a perfect world harmony with discovery, not vulgar, not profane, but a responsible inquiry in the fruits of our experience, the knowledge transmitted through a blackberry placed on our tongue. This is the delicacy of a sensual life, not in the service of self, but in the service of good within a shared community, honoring the dignity of all its members. In trying to wrap my arms around my own spiritual beliefs, I'm aware I pick and choose what feels right to me, adapting as I go, adopting what I like and discarding what I don't within my own ethical framework, which is a simple one, to help more than harm and contribute to the well-being of my community with love, good works, compassion. I accept the organic trinity of mineral, vegetal, and animal with as much authority as I accept the holy trinity. Both are sacred. How do we remain faithful to our own spiritual imagination and not betray what we know in our bodies? The world is holy. We are holy. All life is holy. How do we help our children to understand for themselves our endowment, our spiritual dowry? How do we listen to our children as they answer for themselves a trilogy of questions? Where did we come from? Why are we here? Where are we going? And not until death do we part. 
but for time and all eternity? And a fourth question, how do we wish to live and with whom? The boundaries of bewilderness blur. The amalgamation of bewilder and wilderness in a new word, bewilderness, that reunites two separate aspects. When that first bubble of love eventually breaks, release the illusion. We think everything comes from God. It comes from within. Our gift is our liberty. Everything in the world is broken. Nothing but silence remains. I believe with Federico Garcia Lorca that my body floats between contrary equilibriums. Lorca, who gave us his riveting discussion of Duende, which he defines as this mysterious power that all may feel, but no philosophy can explain. In sum, the spirit of the earth. Whatever has black sounds has duende. Between those black sounds, writes Garcia Lorca, tenderly and intimately live zephyrs, ants, volcanoes, and the huge night straining its waist against the Milky Way, where duende dwells, passion ignites and forms change. Duende is the struggle inside that threatens to make art. I believe Eduardo Galeano's story, which he calls The Voyage, who says that doctors who work with newborns report the first human gesture is embrace. And after coming into the world at the beginning of their days, babies wave their arms as if seeking someone. Other doctors who work with people who have already lived their lives say that the aged at the end of their days die trying to raise their arms. And that's it, that's all. No matter how hard we strive or how many words we pile on, everything comes down to this between two flutterings with no more explanations. The voyage occurs. I believe with Henry David Thoreau that silence alone is worthy to be heard. Animals have only their silence left with which to confront us. I believe that Albert Schweitzer's time is intimacy. It's that simple. Never postpone gratitude. Ingratitude robs us of enthusiasm and that I am life that wants to live in the midst of other life that wants to live. There are no bounds to the sympathetic imagination. I believe in what does not bother to believe in me. I believe in the sentience of other. I believe the beauty of the world is the mouth of a labyrinth. I believe reading Derek Jensen brings me to the threshold of hope, as Meg Wheatley dis defines it, an orientation of the heart. I believe in sitting still and waiting for what is looking for you. I believe in the landscape of bristlecone pines, one of the oldest living species on earth, 5,000 years. I believe if you take away all the prairie dogs, there will be no one to cry for the rain. I believe with T.S. Eliot that the faith and the love and the hope are in the waiting. I believe with William Sloan Coffin that the world is too dangerous for anything but truth and too small for anything but love. I believe that sanity is a stillness of soul that is doing something about reconnecting what is broken about healing what is wounded, about making visible the invisible. I believe in holding 
a sacred space out of the chaos and a forgotten place, remembering a forgotten language, awakening a forgotten need to create beauty because the perfect vehicle for joy rooted in the depth of our suffering is beauty because beauty is a right an angelic quality that heals when your environment is beautiful it gives you dignity when you feel more dignified your sense of self-esteem grows all this is nurtured from working together first steps seeds planting seeds of beauty helps the tree of community with all its branches to grow again first steps seeds planting seeds of beauty helps the tree of community with all of its branches to grow I believe with Terry Tempest Williams that finding beauty in a broken world is creating beauty in the world we find. Again, finding beauty in a broken world is creating beauty in the world we find. listening to being here tonight. I'm walking this way. Oh. You're gone by, feels like one long day. But I'm alive. Feeling all right. I run that hard road out of heartbreak city. Just me and you and the love 
walk along the riverside and when the morning comes I don't want to hide no I'll stand right by your side Let your feelings roll on by. And don't wear fear, or nobody will know you're there. You're there. Oh, it's better than a song. Let your feelings roll on. Thank you. 